If I'm overthinking, I'm really trying, so I should stop it. So hard on myself, it's true. Pick apart the things I do. Been in hiding, backsliding, keep rewinding, pulling the thread through the loop, trying to find the things I knew. So this is pretty much the start of our room. I apologize if I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm doing a few weeks so baby's definitely crunching my lungs but I'm gonna do my best to not be breathing into the mic. So this is the crib that we have set up for the baby. The reason we set the crib up and the bassinet is because I have a toddler. So this is where when the baby's napping I'll be putting them in here just to make sure that my toddler can't just like run in here and grab them whereas in here my toddler can easily reach them. So the crib we set up a little bit early. We have a little mobile up there, and currently we have our hospital bags, car seat, and then just my pregnancy pillow. So when I go into labor, whoever's with me knows the stuff in here is going in the car, minus my pillow, because I use that every night. And then we set up the baby monitor right here, and we can actually turn it so we can see the crib, but it can also see the bassinet. So this is the bassinet the baby's going to be in. I love how it's just so easy to fold away. This is not going to stay in the bassinet. I just have it in here for now. It's actually kind of like a knockoff version of the Docatot. And this is more like a lounger for them just to hang out in in the daytime and not to sleep in. Don't worry. If you are curious, I will link everything I can down below. So this one is the Evanflow bassinet or Evenflow. I really like it. I just love the gray color. Now over here is my side of the bed. That is my toddler's baby monitor so I can hear her at night and that is the hatch sound machine and nightlight. And down here we just have a little breastfeeding basket. I do have a video on this that I will link down below if you wanna know what's in here specifically. But that is just for my nighttime feeds to make it a little bit easier for myself. And then if you're curious to what's under the crib, I just have cloth diapers and stuff like that under there. My partner, myself, and the baby are going to be sharing this closet. So, down there is the laundry for my partner, myself, and my toddler, actually. This is where I've been keeping the bassinet folded up, just in the side. And up here we just have random things that we store up there. Then I have my side of the closet, my partner's side, and obviously the baby's shirts hung up. Then in here, if you are curious, this is just like my underwear, bras, and nursing shirts. My partner's underwear, baby carrier, and nursing pads. So that's what's on that side. I did hang up the sleep socks. We bought a little robe and just like things like that I hung up here just to make it a little easier and then I'll show you what's in the dressers. These tags aren't accurate. This is what, the these are the tags I used for my daughter's room and I just haven't taken these off yet. So in here is, we have socks, hair bows because we don't know if we're having a boy or a girl yet so we wanted to buy some anyways. Some hats and scratch mitts. And then most of our onesies are up here, but we also have a couple of very like feminine ones in here just in case because I wanted some little pink ones. And then just a couple random extra ones that didn't fit on the hangers. And pants. Yes, this is a lot of pants for the baby. I don't know how we ended up getting so many pants, but we did. And here is the pajamas. So right here and here are the pajamas. These are the swaddles and nightgown kind of things for the baby. And then here's where I'm keeping the soothers and soother clips. This next drawer is actually not for the baby. That's just my partner's and my pants that we keep in there. And here is kind of the miscellaneous drawer. So we have extra diapers. This is the parent unit that goes with our baby monitor. So that's going to go downstairs. This is just like a little swaddle we were given for photos and a milestone blanket for the monthly photos. And then in here we have this little sanitizer thing for on the go for soothers and stuff and then a little soother carrying thingy majigger that my partner got at the very bottom we do actually have extra bedding this is the bassinet sheets and the crib sheet moving over from here we have kind of the little bit of the nursing area so i'll do this part first i just have this nursing chair and then instead of getting a diaper genie we just got a pail that you can step on like that i found it a lot easier this is not supposed to be here, so let's just pretend that that wasn't there. Wipe warmer. And then in here I have extra diapers and an extra change pad cover. Right here is my breastfeeding essentials for when I'm nursing in here. So I have like some snacks, 
that I started eating already <laughs> and my haka and different things like that. A couple burp cloths. And then in the very bottom, I just keep most of their toys for now that they're not going to quite play with right away, obviously, but, you know, just keep it there for now. I should take this tag off. This is going to be the baby's laundry bag. So I do wash baby's laundry separate from ours. That's just my preference. This is actually a cloth diaper wet bag, so when I am cloth diapering, I will be using this. But for now, it'll be the baby's actual just laundry bag. The change table in the crib and all the stuff we actually got for free secondhand, so... We kind of just made with what we have. So we have this really, really soft change pad cover that's probably just gonna get all stained and gross, but that's okay. Just like wipes for the warmer that obviously we're not putting in yet. Some diapers, we have lotion, and this is gripe water. We have the Nose Frida Pseudocrem, and then Organic Baby Diaper Balm for my cloth diapers. Going to down here, we have in this basket, it's just receiving blankets and burp cloths. And then these are the newborn cloth diapers right here. And then under here, this is a little co-sleeper for the bed. It like folds out and you can put it inside your bed. And that is the boppy pillow right there for nursing. And then in this little basket, we just have extra blankets that are for the bedroom. And then the rest of the blankets are downstairs. So I will also show you what we have set up downstairs for the baby. I wanted to kind of show everything in this video. It's a very small house, so we kind of had to improvise. So let's go to the hallway. Next is my daughter's room, and in here we have some of the baby stuff also. So this is some of the baby stuff hanging, and that's for like newborn sizing. A bunch of diapers and wipes down here, and then up at the top we have just three to six month clothing six to nine and then this box just has some baby toys in it i believe and yeah so it's just kind of extra diapers also up there so just organize like that because my toddler only uses this much of her closet so i figure we would put the baby stuff in here eventually they will share a room but definitely not for the first six months at least in this cabinet is where we're keeping all of the baby and kids stuff so we have baby's bottles stuff for pumping so anything breastfeeding, like pumping related, milk storage bags, the pump that I use. This is just a nipple shield and coupons as well at the back for the baby. I was gifted this formula, so I figure in case we need it, I was going to keep it for now. It doesn't expire for a long time. These are my toddler's bib and her cups. We have a space saving bottle drying rack up here. I have a bottle brush and then this is our bottle sterilizer and like pump sterilizer so it's all really nicely organized up in here which i really really like and it's just so easy to find everything with my cricut i'm also just going to add little tags on these so that my partner knows where each thing is and just makes it a lot easier for everyone so that is where all of that stuff is this is where we're keeping the stuff for baby downstairs. So we have the Mama Roo right here, which is kind of what we got instead of a baby swing. We also put another change pad down here just to make it easier. Honestly, I'll probably end up changing them on the couch most of the time, but for now I have that set up there. In this one, I've kept some extra receiving blankets, wipes, diapers, and just little things like that. I'll probably end up keeping an outfit down here. And this is just the cord for the Mama Roo that's right beside. My toddler's toys are all here, but in this one is where we're keeping the blankets for toddler and baby. So this has extra baby blankets. We did also get a little baby bouncer seat and we're probably gonna end up bringing this upstairs just so that when I have a shower or go to the bathroom, I can easily safely put baby somewhere and not have to worry about my toddler getting here. We do have the Mama Roo down here, so that's why this is probably going to go upstairs, but it's really easy to pick this up and move it. Obviously not with the baby in it, but it's really easy to move around, which is why I love it. And it honestly blends in nicely. It's not too tacky. Sorry about my toddler stuff. 